welcome back to the channel. I'm Ray. Check it out, guys. I have another video. This is pretty much an informational video. All right. Now, recently, I just upgraded my whole computer system. And pretty much thanks to you guys out there who's been supporting my channel. And I really appreciate it. I was working off the 2000, well, I should say Thunderbolt 2 system. When you upgrade, you're automatically upgrading to the Thunderbolt 3 system. I get it. Better performance, better everything. I got it. But at the same time, keep in mind, and I didn't realize that the cost of doing that upgrade. Once I got the iMac here and I start to set up, and again, I'm working off the Thunderbolt 2 system, realizing my new iMac is all Thunderbolt 3, and I can't hook up anything. All right, I can't hook up my hard drive, which is here, which is a Thunderbolt 3. I can't hook up my Thunderbolt 2 uh, hub portal from OC, uh, OWC, all right? Not compatible, not gonna work. So I just, I'm like, okay, I either can upgrade and spend more ching ching to Apple and everybody else to upgrade it, or I have to look for something that's backwards compatible. And luckily, and thank God, Apple does make a cable to make your Thunderbolt 3, or 3, I should say, uh, backwards compatible to your Thunderbolt 2. And that's what I have here, guys, exactly that, all right? So my word, uh, my advice to you guys who are in the same predicament, who's looking to upgrade to the new iMac or any new iMac, you know they're converting over to the USB-C format, which is a long time coming. And which is, are these cables here. All right, this came from my iPad Pro. Excellent, all right, and I'm glad. They should have done it a long time ago, and I'm glad they're going that route. So, but in doing that, as you know, Thunderbolt 3 USB-C is not the same as Thunderbolt 2. Apple and oranges, right? Apple and oranges, so keep that in mind. You're going to have to get your adapter, all right? So don't do what I did. Wait till the com computer get here and realize, oh, blip, I can't hook up my external hard drive. So I'm glad I got this. I ended up ordering this from my favorite store, you know, Amazon. Guys, if you're looking for the same product, I will put a link below of this product, please. That link will be affiliate, and it does support the channel if you decide to pick this up, and it's greatly appreciated. So what are going to do, guys? All we're gonna do, I'm gonna open it up and just it's simple, a simple cable, guys. All right, and I'm gonna be honest, I did test this out, I already checked it out, it does work in my configuration. But to let you know, when you get it, all right, and I'll put a screenshot of this. There's a they show you what is not compatible. Now, I'm not sure if it works in this configuration because I'm not using it in that way. All right, what I needed this for is to come out, it comes like this, I already just attached it. Now, if you do get it, guys, it's gonna be locked into this plastic here. I already took it off. But leave it in the plastic, don't take it out. You can take it off of here, plug it into your system, and see if it works. If it works, good, take it off. If it doesn't work, you didn't destroy the tab, put it back in a box, send it back, get your money back. All right, so that's just a little tip, all right? So in my case, I, it does work, so I already took it off. And this is what it looks like, guys. All right, a little USB-C Thunderbolt 3 to your female intake for your Thunderbolt 2. All right, and all you're going to do, and what I needed this for is the, if you want to use your Thunderbolt 2 hub system with your new iMac, you must pick this up. There's no other workaround. There's nothing in the new iMac. They do not give you, I wish they would have gave you at least one Thunderbolt 2 portal for those who are in that ecosystem, but they don't. But they do give you the cable, all right, or not give it to you. Uh, develop a cable so you can buy to now make this compatible. And pretty much, again, what I need it for, because I have an HDMI, HDMI cable going to my DVI cable, which is, mon which is providing my second monitor, my NEC monitor. And that's what I needed this for, really. So, because the new Thunderbolt um, 3 system of this 
they don't divide they don't provide a HD HDMI output. All right, that's a lot of letters I'm I'm trying to keep up with guys. So that's pretty much it, guys. Again, if you're gonna need if you're gonna upgrade to the USB C on IMAX, this is a must have. You have to pick it up. There's no way around it. And I would highly advise you guys to pick up the Apple compatible one. So therefore you know it will work with your iMac and this will pretty much work with any other uh, Thunderbolt 2 system. And that's it guys. So that's how I'm going to set up. I have my Thunderbolt uh, 2 system. goes right in here. Male to female. And now this device here is now nah, not op obsolete at this point. <laughs> Alright. I can use all my Thunderbolt 2 devices and I still can use all the, uh, the all the I.O. here and what's good about it you're only using one output out of the iMac uh, USB-C I still have an additional one so if I up, when I do upgrade to other devices that are Thunderbolt 3 compatible I have that extra output so I'm running both system so I just want to bring that to your attention it wasn't a lot of information out there regards to this type of setup. So I'm able to now run my HDMI to my DVI display port for my additional monitor off to the side that's in uh, portrait mode. And that's pretty much it, guys. All right, so this is a really short video. I hope this was helpful you, to you guys. Again, just a remind, a link will be, lo will be below of this particular um, adapter it is affiliate it does support the channel and I greatly appreciate it guys uh, any questions any comments any concerns please hit me down below and I will check you out on the next one later